Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're continuing with our Pick Monkey series, and today we're going to be focusing on overlays. So if you haven't seen the first two videos that I've done, I'll have those linked below in the bottom bar so you can go check them out so you can follow along. So over here on the left hand side, you'll see overlays. Now we briefly went into overlays in the last video because we used the geometric ones, but today I'm going to get a bit more in depth. So what is an overlay? An overlay is essentially something that you're overlaying onto your picture. Now in this category, it's mostly like cartoons or clip art or emojis, that sort of thing. Just stuff that you can add to your picture to spice it up. So as always with PicMonkey, there are some here that are for Royal members. I am a Royal member, but I'm not gonna be showing you these just because most people are not going to pay to use PicMonkey. So, if you do want to pay, you can join PicMonkey and you can get access to a lot more options. However, it's not 100% necessary. So you can still use the free version and make out just fine. So here's a couple that might interest some people. You have hearts. So let's say you see a heart here that you like that you want to add to your video. So Valentine's Day is coming up, so maybe you're going to be doing like a Valentine's Day video. This would be a great section to use. So let's say you want a heart. I like this one right here, so I'm going to click on it, and it will automatically insert into my image. Now I can take it and I can move it around. I can resize it, as you can see. I can rotate it. Basically, you can do everything that you can do with text with your emojis. I can even change the color. So let's see here. I can do, oh, let's see. Mm, what color do I want? We'll go with like that color pink. And then let's say I want to change like the outline color. I could change it to, ooh, that kind of looks pretty, some of the blues. I could change it to, you know, something with a blue. Or I could go a little bit darker. Let's see what color we're good. That would work good. I could go like that. I could fade it if I wanted to. I could change the blend modes so you kind of see what those look like. So you can just play around with these. If you want to have it just one solid color, just click transparent and that gets rid of that outline. So that is pretty fun to play with. So I'm just going to put this one up here just to leave it up there because I do kind of like that. Next, let's see. I'm not really too much of a fan of those ones. Um, they have some stars here, which are kind of fun. Um, like, let's say you wanted to add something like that. Change the color to white. Maybe fade it a little bit. Make it a little bit smaller. You can add little things like that. Um, let's see. One that I do like to use sometimes is Comic Bubbles. I tend to use the Royale ones, but there's also some free ones up here. So I'm going to show you one thing with the Comic Bubbles that I tend to have to do quite often. So let's say I want to use a Comic Bubble. So we'll do like a thought one. So I'm going to click on this, stretch it out a little bit. So let's say I don't want to put this Thought Bubble over here. I want it over here. However, you can see the little tail part here is facing the wrong direction. So I change that, I click on it, then I go right here and I click this one. There you go. You can see it flipped it over, so it's this way. So now it's perfect. There we go. So let's see. I might fade this out just a tiny bit and have that like that. Kind of cute. Um, let's see, there's nautical ones here. Sometimes these are great as like frames, which is kind of cool. Yes, get out of there. Um, you can do this like if you wanted to put text in this or something. It's kind of fun. You can just play around. Some that are kind of like hilarious to do. You can do like facial hair they have on here, which is kind of funny. So you could always add on like a little mustache or something, you know just kind of hilarious <laughs> but you can basically just go through these and have fun um one that I like to use a lot is happy cons these like little smiley faces so let's see cute one here is this little smiley face 
So again, you could take him, make him a little bit bigger, move him to the side, just like that. So there's all kinds here. Um, another one that I like to use is sparkles and stars. Click on these, make it a little bit bigger. Kind of put that there. I'm going to have this go to the back, so I'm going to click send to back. Alright, so one other thing I'm going to show you is, you can see where I just put this overlay here with the sparkles. You can see that some of the overlay is kind of in an area where I don't want it. You know, some bits here on my face and stuff, which I just don't like. I don't want it there. So what I do is I would select it. As you can see, I have it here. It's in the outline. To do that, if you don't have it, just click where you have your overlay, and it'll come up in the screen. Click on eraser. You can change your eraser size, and then you can just go over and just hold down, and you can just erase the parts that you don't want on there. And it will still leave the rest of it wherever you do want it. So that's one little healthy. So that's one little helpful tip. Another thing that I like to use sometimes is banners. So you can see there's all kinds of cute little banners here that you can use. So if you find one that you like, you could just select it and you could drag it out however you would want it. And you could always put text in here if you felt like it. There's all kinds of things you can do. Or you can just use it as like decoration or something. You know, it's really, it's up to you. Another cute one here is buttons so you can see they have all different types of buttons so for some like craft videos or something these are kind of cute to add you know they're really adorable you could always just add them in let's see another cute one you could add in a couple buttons this is starting to get a little sloppy over here but I'm just trying to show you guys everything that is available there's push pins so this is great like if you're doing maybe like um, like a travel vlog or something or something like that. You could always put up a map and use one of these push pins to show like where you are or something like that. So let me delete some of these because it's going to be just a bit much. So basically just go through and find you know some things that you might like just little accents that might work well with your video you know I like to just play around and have fun and find stuff that's just cute so you have quite a few options here um, they do tend to update and add more in this new section they haven't done that in a while though which I'm kinda surprised but I'm do I am hoping that they do add more in pretty soon because they kind of came out with summer ones and they never really did anything for the fall and winter so that kind of surprised me. So I am hoping that PicMonkey does add a few more because we could use them. All right, guys, so I hope that this was a little bit helpful here. Overlays are really simple and really easy, kind of straightforward. You can just go through, have fun, play around. It will add just a little something extra to your thumbnail that will just make it pop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, the links to the playlist for this series will be down below. So go check that out. Alright guys, until my next video, I will see you later. Bye.